My mom said that you didn't come to that you dance. <laughs> it's Open House Thursday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Moriah Afola Brown. It's Thursday, and I have my lovely co-host with me. Hi, ladies. Hi, Moriah. Jumzo in the in the building. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> What's that? Okay, Tokwa, how are you doing? I'm Just very good. Nothing this is yours to do. <laughs> I'm very, very good. Right. Um, you know, I'm so excited about all the things that I'm working on that um, I can't sleep. So <laughs> generally, I wake up and I'm like, Tokwa, calm down, calm right down. <laughs> <As in, laughs> <in, laughs> right I'm already tying gelays. Yeah, I'm already oh planning God. the trainings. And, but the good thing is we are having, you know, sometimes you make all those plans and you don't, you're, you're hoping and praying it works out. Then my friend in New York called me that she's gotten three people wow. in the KTHS for training and it's professional. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. I, all I needed was just one person to indicate interest. I was just feeling my mind like, yeah, we got it. But then we have three. Glory to God. 10% uh, <laughs> time. So, Jimmy, have you booted? Oh, dickiness. <laughs> dickiness. Jimmy, have you booted? I have a human interest what announcement. Happened? So, there's a filling station, petrol station, being constructed on Eagle Bus Stop on Ajari Road in Ogba. I know that road very well. It's narrow and it goes a long way. It's highly, densely populated. My question when I saw the petrol station, where will the tanker pass on this road? Mm. Then it's residential, houses to the left and right. And Whoa. where will you pack, put the fuel? Who approved <laughs> a petrol station yeah. in this area? Okay, you know what? I know that. I had that same really feeling new. when one started in Aladi Lola here. Yes. And honestly, I will not lie to you. As a it's resident, a it's a lifesaver. It's I don't lifesaver. have to be traveling to I agree. Total on the express. I so agree. if I'm running away for, like that, so. for um, not just even petrol, kerosene for cooking and yeah, everything. So, so accessible. But why, right. if an accident happens, happens and that's, that's where the problem. When, when we, yes. we think about convenience and forget about what is right. So right. convenience is right. taking a motorcycle, right. the bike. Right. But what is right is take a little stroll from bus stop to yeah, bus stop. It's yeah. healthier so for you. So you're right. So it's not, it shouldn't be about convenience. I was concerned though. Because if you know the amount of people that stay there... to access that And it's one small plot of land. How do you build a petrol station there? Yeah. I'm sure if they take for approval, they might not have. They might not have, yeah. But they might have so also. True. Let's not assume. So. No, they won't have. Anyway, how are you doing, Jerry? I'm doing amazing. So uh, yesterday, I had a wonderful time talking to my mentor. And uh, one of the reasons I picked him was because he's multi talented like myself mm -hmm. you know i i i, I, I was afraid yes i was afraid of meeting somebody who believed in just doing one thing do one thing and do one thing i'm not cut out to do one thing so i met somebody who has seven different things he's doing and he's been he's successful well. in those seven they awesome. are making money so he gave me he's a master of all so he gave me a blueprint on bc set out this that that he gave me tasks to do mm -hmm. and i started yesterday i'm excited and oh, that's really good i've been trying to remember since yesterday the lady we know for this your hairstyle and she dana ross the morale <laughs> and ross is how did that one come in right now <laughs> mentorship yeah. is really really important very I'm important for now if we have important. a mentor yeah Mario. you have not one you have many <laughs> see he's talking Mario. please explain what you're wearing <laughs> Don't do this, Juma Kesh. She actually you know complained what? about the stuff. We convinced her to wear it. It's so don't do this. I like it. It's vintage. Okay. You're looking very pretty. Vintage. It's vintage. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh Juma Kesh wasn't there when I was <laughs> profusely complaining you about there, this actually. stuff. I really hated no, it. It's beautiful. But who approved the free top on a free pair of pants? Stanley, stylist there. <laughs> oh my lord, God. Almighty, we gotta go on the road. You don't see the entire thing. Too early. You don't Let's have any go to the break. We'll be right say. back. We'll need this grease. <laughs> Let's start with uh, <laughs> daily stuff. For some reason, we don't have punch today. What happened to Punch and Nation? They just. No, no. I don't, know I don't sell papers. They may. They may have public. We have we're starting with daily sun today. Federal government to United Kingdom revoke looters' visas. Presidential pro panel writes British government. Why we won't make this public now, says Obono Obla. And agony pains as trailers, fuel tankers, ground leggers. The picture in Daily Sun is terrible. I mean, it's like a gridlock. You can't even go anywhere. Of Korocha bombs Ohakim hmm. describes pre predecessor's government as most devalued in Imo. AGF clears air on June 12th public holiday. <laughs> Inspector General of Police okays independent inspection of SARS cells. 
Right, the major headline, federal government to UK. Who has that story? So I have the story. The federal government has forwarded a list of alleged treasury looters in Nigeria to the United Kingdom. So they have said that anybody who is found in that list, their visa will be revoked. No, they, they are requesting for it. They, request, they only send requesting, the letters. Yes. And they will not be allowed to get into the country. They also make it, made a list of 200 um, um, people who are alleged to be looters, if you have properties illegally, right, if right. you've stolen public funds and all of that, though so they are saying they're not the bringing out the UK government agrees with them and yes, this is alleged mm. looters. The UK is a, a country of laws. Okay. You don't just bring somebody's ah. name out without conviction and say, well, so what you can say is to put a restraint yeah, well, they on were, their they, they, money. They, they, they referred to the one they did for the, the CEO of Dark Communications, um, Dr. C, yes. that he was, he was um, I think his visa to the US was revoked once yeah. his name was on the list. Yes. So yes. the idea is that for now, this, we're doing investigation, you yes. in once you clear your name, you get it, but it's just a yeah. temporary, it's a partnership with restraint. the UK government, just yeah. restrict this one from coming and leaving from, them. Um, by having this bipartisan relationship. I want to talk about the good news from the um, police. The spokesperson, the public, the head of public complaints, Abayo Mishogule, um, unit of the police, said on behalf of the IG Ibrahim that um, they now grant permission to the nat um, national, sorry, Human let me get Commission. national Human Rights Commission to have, carry out private investigation within the SARS cells. So there's been a lot of noise concerning SARS and SARS and all that. So this is a, in response to it. And I must say it is a good one. I wish we can also have it done secretly because if they are where you're coming, right. they can prepare for I'm you, sure, but I'm they should sure be able to okay. allow them going. But now we can have human rights investigate what the conditions of Nigerians being held in SARS cells. Are. Okay, this issue of the gridlock is really, really bad. Let's I mean, people, I mean um, people are really, according to the papers, there was man, one man that was practically petrified because trucks and trailers were all around him, surrounding him. He was just there for three hours. And I know um, Nima always tells us stories of this route. Mm -hmm. We really need to find a lasting solution. So, in the past one week, I hear that it's gone worse. So for some reason, going into that rainbow... Um, Can I uh, suggest? I, it happened to me. And it is extremely insensitive of our trailer drivers because I, the, the, there was no traffic going forward. Mm -hmm. There was no place for them to turn. And one trailer blocked the road, keeping all of us there for an hour. Whoa. Like I could literally see my parents' house and we couldn't move. Trailers left, right, center, and one trailer took off from the queue hmm. and blocked the road. The road. That is terrible. because we, they know that if anybody makes any noise, right. they will just say we're going on strike and mm. everybody will be held. Mm. But we must start um, decisively punishing those that do this. Yeah. Okay, so we have a four-day public holiday. I wanted to no, say that. No, two days now. Four days. So we can do in two days. Yeah. Um, can we start moving people to Port Harcourt and Calabar? Why? <laughs> Because <laughs> there's no way to get to a papa mm. now. Let's move on to the new Telegraph. Why didn't you move the first? No, Let's I'm move on to the, about the courts. Yes. Oh, oh. Let's move on to the new Telegraph. To the Calabar court. APC Mall's postponement of national convention. FIFA World Cup kicks off in Russia today. Nigerian pharmacist kills his wife, daughter, and himself in the U.S. Oh. And FG said to repatriate fresh $500 million Abacha loot. This loot that you're coming for me is never, yeah. end, never ending loot. Why are for? I don't understand. <laughs> never so ending. the Nigerian man, uh, pharmacist or Lashukomi Esho, murdered his uh, wife and uh, the daughter, hmm. then killed himself for whatever reason, though investigations are ongoing now to ascertain what happened. But the son, he was survived by his son and if, a, a four-year-old. Four old daughter. Yes. No, was it four the eight-year-old that he killed? The, uh, yes. The, no, the eight-year-old daughter is the one that died. Okay. The four-year-old daughter was, survived him. And um, the son actually heard gunshots and ran to the mother to complain. Unfortunately, the mother was shot at the same time. So um, we don't know so what is coming out right now. But, um, so we, we just hope to hear the results of the investigations. I wanted to talk about the Abacha loot. Um, we're still recovering monies. This hmm. is $500 million. And just a few weeks ago, our president said that hate Abacha or love him, he built hospitals. Hmm. The president has not started using any of the Abacha hospitals himself. <laughs> he goes to the UK. <laughs> but I say, look, if you are an anti-corruption president arresting people for corruption, where you, stand. Everybody. you cannot be praising Abacha. In yes. no way. Yes. A klepto. In no way. Right, uh -uh. right. right. $500 million, hopefully. We're still we recovering. Moving on happened? now to Vanguard. 2019, validation of June 12, not enough for Buhari's Southwest leaders. Adebanjo, Dumaki, Babatokwe, Fashami, others differ. 
Uh, let's move on to the Nigerian Tribune. Uh, you don't want to take that major headline. We'll take it in. There's, uh, those, we'll take it here. Okay. APC Convention, Southwest shares positions. Process to make June 12th public holiday ongoing, says Attorney General of Federation. Uh, Mimiko dumps PDP, re rejoins Labour Party. <coughs> Court sacks Kogi Senator Aidoko. Ten killed as bandits attack two villages in Zamfara. Rice smuggling on rice is customs. And Inspector General approves NHR's that's National Human Commission's request to audit SARS detention cells nationwide. Okay, okay let's talk about the Yoruba, June 12th. The Yoruba leaders um, are saying that President Buhari has to do more in addressing issues of good governance to win electoral contest in 2019 that just declaring due to 12 um, the, the day of democracy and honoring Abiola is not enough for mm -hmm. him to win right. votes. Um, pa Ayo Fasomi, former chairman of Nadeko is however deferring and saying that I endorse <laughs> President Buhari. That's so what the story in says. addition to June 12, the Attorney General Federation is, has said that um, what the uh, president did was a declaration of an intent that they still they still need to make adjustments to the law In to the ensure law. because there is a public holiday act that needs to be amended such such, such that June 12 can then become a public holiday. So hopefully by next what? year it becomes a federal holiday. But if yeah. they don't amend the law, the next president can just say, you know what, we want to make yeah. it June 1. So, okay. so, <laughs> of intent. so I have the uh, story on uh, the Nigerian Customs Service coming out to say that they are actually raising alarm that there is an increase on uh, rice smuggling in the nation from just because of this uh, Ramadan celebration, they've <laughs> intercepted about nine to 15 trucks wow. already. So, but I'm wondering, we are producing rice right now. Can't we just buy That's our local? People prefer to buy no. certain rice. I have to try that local rice. It's nice. I, and the, I, I lick rice awesome. Okay. However, we, if, if there is no market for it, they won't bring it into nothing. Yes. It's, it's actually There's a market cheaper. for it. It's There's cheaper. one rice like this it's that my, my mother-in-law makes in, in um, Ife. They, they, it doesn't come through the ports here. I think it comes through maybe Republic of Ben or something like that. It goes directly to Ibado. It's um, Indian rice. Oh my goodness, I've not seen this kind of rice. Is it basmati? It's not basmati. No, it's right. not. This one is just different. Yeah. And we've been looking for this rice. So eat Opada, 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 Opada rice. rice. Opada 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 only two rice. I've been, I've been eating those only for the past two years. Opada rice. Yeah, rice. I'll try the lake rice. Except for the stones. I like the no, they are more refined yeah. ones now. They're more refined mm -hmm. ones. Okay, our last paper is The Guardian. Let the games begin! Go, 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 go! <laughs> woo, 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 woo! <laughs> 26th World Cup kicks off amid music and excitement. Focus Super Eagles ready for Croatia. Yes. I hear that Croatia is um, playing Nigeria, playing Croatia. Um, 7 p.m. on Saturday, I think. Don't worry, we, we will bring a demo of the World Cup here on Monday when we win Why that election. Why do you guys talk like this? Oh, uh, like I said demo of oh, the demo World of the Cup. Goal. Oh, and sorry, I, you I, already I, know I my mindset. Oh, ah, oh, yeah. oh, okay. right. I wanted it. to talk about the senator representing Kogi East. I, what's his name again? Aidoko. Aidoko, yes. um, who has been do? sacked by the courts. Why? Because he wasn't well represented by, he wasn't well, well presented not many, yes. by the PDP. Guess what? There are no by elections. Though. Hmm. The guy that he caught, that was his um, op not opponent because they were in the same party. He's just mm. supposed to come and resume. Are you kidding? Eight See the way blessings. See prayers. Eight eight what? <laughs> That's what they call <laughs> miracles. I'm, I'm telling you, my head, 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 my head is stronger, way stronger than you. Church, oh, there's a way they say it in church. Not yeah. favor. Where you did not walk. Ah, yeah. 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 I know those scriptures. Those are the things I really go for. You read where you did not so. She said they stripped that man of all his benefits as a senator. Every single thing, and then they are cruise to this guy. Hold on. Oh, no, wow. Excuse me. Stripping no, him. You say that. Let's yeah. see. Pause for a second. You know how you go to try today. Let's and say, restore today you are do, you don't have a land. Mm. Today you don't have a car. You will eat. This time tomorrow you will okay. be a landlord. You will eat. This time <laughs> tomorrow from the pastors that you people believe this kind of nonsense. This kind of miracles. This kind of nonsense. However, miracles. Miracles. Kind of miracles. Kind of miracles. preventing this going forward, it's to ensure that we follow the right procedures where we are going. May I? May I just say that this man will not collect the monies accruable in the last three years. The other senator has been collecting 13.5 million every okay. year. Yeah, it doesn't um, matter. He's starting from somewhere. It's Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> when we come back, we ask what do women really want? Especially, hey. there's, a, there's a case study of um, Chimamanda saying that, don't open door for me. So what are we asking for? Stay with us. We'll discuss. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to your So thanks for staying with us. Women usually love to, they crave love, pampering and attention. But lately, some women have come out, come with the fact that they should be treated just exactly as men are treated. Recently, Chimamanda Adichie sparked mixed reactions <coughs> amongst Nigerians saying she doesn't like men holding doors for women. In her words, I think gestures like holding the door shouldn't be gender based. I think it's a lovely thing to hold the door but we should hold the door for everyone. So we ask, does feminism or women empowerment mean we don't like to be pampered? To join the conversation, call us on 70 8066 <coughs> You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect, please hashtag YourViewTVC so we can read your tweets. So I know people have been talking about this issue mm. and Chimamanda never said she doesn't she like it. Mm. Yeah, no, she's broken the table. Plenty of us are on the table. She's not shaking it. She's broken this table. Plenty of us are on the table. Because people are now saying, okay, what exactly do we want? Do you want the doors to be open for you or ah. do you just want us to just leave you alone? Fear. All these feminism, feminism people should just not give me problems. It's me. I'm a woman. Mm. And I mean, I'm an African woman that likes to be pampered. Hey, I want my husband to come home <coughs> and, you know, this is a check. This is a bag, these are shoes, Bagam. this is a trip, this is a plane, this is a brand new, as in, I want that kind of pampering. I just booked you, I've said it before here, I just booked the trip for both of us. Ah, just you so I like, as in, you know, I like those, I, I don't, <coughs> feminism, you keep your feminism no, in America no, and in London no, that's and in all those point. places. I think what the feminists are saying, they're not, they're not disputing that, they're not disagreeing with that, they're just saying, if you, if I can take that from a man, mm. I as a woman can do, should be able to do that to you too. Yes, no, I man, should do that. My responsibility is to massage him, to cook for him, no. to make sure the house is comfortable. Do the other room. Those are my responsibilities. responsibilities. No, I, I, think, that be I think Shimamanda is seeing it from the uh, area of respect, because we we need to learn to respect humans, mm. not based on gender. Mm. So I don't have to stand up for you because you're a woman if you're late, because women tend to be entitled most of the time. I came into, a, I come for an event and I'm late and guys are sit seated there. I expect somebody to stand up for me because I'm a woman and I am late. So respect me for who I am. Respect me that I, I, that I am a human so being. I not to an event, not hold on. stand up for Why me. would they stand up for you? I'm a human. But you're late. I'm I mean, I'm but you're late. That's Enjoy. the point. But you're late. So that sense of entitlement that, okay, because I'm a woman, I, there are certain things I cannot do. There are certain jobs I cannot do. I, so I cannot I stand and hold the Why generator. Why would I open the door going for, going door for you? Earlier, going back to what I said, I think what, from, from the angle I'm saying, Chimamanda is saying, listen, as a woman, you are also empowered, right? So if you're a wife in the house and you are the one that is, a, you, have the, you have the financial capability to buy the trips, to, to pay for the trips. Go ahead. To buy the shoes for your husband. You should be able to do that without your husband yes. feeling. Yes. Put on like, the generator. I a, a second class citizen. Excuse me, yes. madam. When God created me, the weaker <laughs> sex. I'm not weak, oh, oh. So you I, I'm not, I'm not so there. So you're saying you're a weaker sex. Excuse me. I this, am not. The, this is biology. the biology of a woman is softer than the biology of a man. Thank you. Naturally. It's not to say that I'm weaker in my brain. No, but you confuse Chimamanda people. Amanda was saying, if we are opening doors, let's just open doors for people who are weak. Good. So she will open the door. For another man, mm -hmm. another woman mm -hmm. that may be weak. And if a man decides to open the door for her, she's just thinking, oh God, I, I hope it's not chivalry. I hope you're not opening the door because, because you think, you think that I'm weak. Chimamanda knows that when men open doors for their women, it's romance. Yes. It may be foreign to us in Africa. But do we get, it's like, it's like we're getting too paranoid. Like every little, so, so suddenly when a man does something for you, you're constantly questioning everything. What's his motive? Is it because I'm a woman? Or is it because I'm empowered? Or is it because he's empowered? What exactly the, do the you men want? are confused. The women are, they, they are, these feminism people are confusing themselves. Because even the men are confused that we're just trying to learn how to, to open, open the door. The door. You are now saying we should, you are now suspe suspecting us for opening the door. I feel that at the end of the day, 
what everybody is crying for is respect. Yeah. Even in most marriages, the challenges that um, marriages face is where the husband is feeling not respected or even the woman feeling like, I have a brain, I'm contributing to this household too. I should be respected. <coughs> so at the end of the day, whether feminism or non-feminism, we all just want to be treated fair where, and square as human line? beings. Where do we draw the line between respect and romance? Is it romance I want to see? Because of who does yeah. romance? It's romance, yeah. Respect and romance. So they teach us in etiquette, right, to open the door oh, for the person. Class? Yes, I did. Ah, they no actually. Always doing uh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Go ahead. They have, Go ahead. They have tried, but they no, haven't. I, I must they say, haven't. Talk with Jamaica is very, very neat. Like it's crazy. You are, you are, you are too annoyingly neat. Are you kidding? Yeah, it's annoying. She's just too orderly. Too wow. annoyingly That's orderly. The glory so now I know. Of school, all the uh -huh. beauty, the beauty where you were. Now I know it's etiquette class because she's always so tidy. I went to a military school. Right. So I changed in secondary school. I wasn't always this neat. Now, um, you have allowed me I've to forget my line. Okay, remind me my first sentence. I will remember what I, I was trying remember to say. That opening doors, we were taught mm. in etiquette that open the door for the person behind you. It's just basic respect. The way they say, get up from your seat for women who are pregnant and, mm -hmm. you know, just elderly. Be, just help elderly. You know, it's just basic respect. But when it is now your boyfriend, your toaster, or mm -hmm. your husband, opening it's door. based on, this is my lady. Yes, sir. And in etiquette, <laughs> a lady that is being courted by a gentleman, mm. he would pull the chair for yes. you to sit. In this country. Well, so fire, that's do. the point I'm going to. Wait, <laughs> so wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Thank you of you immediately came for Chimamanda. Mm -hmm. Sister, I opened the door for my Susu. Mm -hmm. Susu. Not because she's a weaker sex, but okay. because I am a gentleman. Yes. Right. Okay, Bakasi, now sir, this Chivari estate we are in, <laughs> I'm a little confused. You people just tell us what you want. Mm. Now, feminists, like Tokwe mentioned, seem confused because um, if you're a feminist, feminist like um, Chimamanda and you are married to a man, obviously there's some things you expect of your lover. So don't come and tell other women what to expect of their own lover. If you don't want your husband to be opening, opening doors for you. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. We. So, so the, okay, let me for, for me, it still comes down to what is obtainable. How do we respect people? Now, I've walked into uh, a place, mm. you know, um, I came in first. Even, I'm going to say this because women don't even respect women. I walk into a place and they see me first before seeing my husband. And, you know, the receptionist just looks like, uh -huh. Who are you? And then my husband comes in and you see all the blush. Well, hey, good morning, sir. Okay. Because, he owns the money. excuse me, you see the problem? Uh -huh. So we need to learn how to respect people for That's who the they are. They are humans. Exactly Where's the money? He's saying, we are following do the things for me. So, okay, Chimamanda is giving, you, know, you have to be careful of who is advising you. <laughs> because the Chimamanda that is advising your husband is married. is married. So Chimamanda, you will be seeing good. Yeah. You will be seeing good, you are praying. <laughs> you are now shaking head and shaking eye and looking, you look like I'm a strong woman, I'm a strong woman. Listen and Get a down. husband. Exactly. <laughs> the person advising you got married before she jumped on the feminism wagon. She naked. We all did not know, as in like, so like oh, what was she, what she? She already got we married. Just we just saw that she was already so married. So, true. so be careful of who is advising you and don't just take them hook line and sinker but she, think for yourself how you want to be treated I want to be pampered I want to be cared for in every way I want to enjoy my husband's money uh, hello I want to be I want to enjoy his money and that I'm entitled to that we are so not, don't start making it look like the, a woman that is enjoying her husband's money is not is undermining or underplaying her potential that's not what she's saying but, though uh, uh, but that's the general perception people have and i understand because so, i am is ambitious it her fault that we have the wrong perception of what feminism is. thank you because feminism is not telling you she's the one going to please, well, define feminism but, well from, from <laughs> my understanding <laughs> from my understanding of feminism mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is just letting women be able to achieve the highest potential yes. they, 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 they are True. capable of yeah. so when you do that and the respect that you have for them mm. is because of their achievement, not because they're a woman. Because they're married or because they have a man, married. yes. That's why feminists in Nigeria are confused. Yeah. Yes, because feminism is really about equ equity, equality of the man and the woman in the workplace and in the society, okay. allowing the girl child to achieve as much as the guy the boy child. child yeah. But it doesn't have, it's not about marriage. No, it's different. We cannot be two captains in, in the marriage boy. ship. 
So <laughs> even the feminists that are married mm. know that a guy is a guy in the house. Of course. I come and shout at all you women and all the other men outside. <laughs> so they're now asking to Mamanda, Madam, wait to me. I like my ogre opening door. I don't understand this, your colored feminism. No, no, no. no, no, no. We are really, really missing agree. the point. It's okay, not about. Let's, let's not put Chimamanda on trial mm -hmm. or even the issue of the Dublin on trial. Let us focus now on exactly what exactly do we want as women. I know we've discussed this before. May I just know yeah. Chimamanda's so, coffin by saying that after she did that, she now got an award for poetry with her writing. So the lady, she's just getting all the. <laughs> what she wants. She's, yeah, but, but now. <clears throat> Going back to women, mm. yes, we like to be empowered. Yeah. Yes, we want to be respected. But our men are, have seen us so empowered that they don't even take care of us like the way Top Boy was asking mm. us to take care yeah. of They yeah. feel like you're, you're, you're all, you're you're all made, you're yes, all together. Yes. Men don't pay attention to the fact that I want to, I, have, I have a friend who's, who takes care of everything her husband needs, mm. every single thing. Yeah. And, and we're having issues. And the husband said, listen, I don't pay for anything in this house anymore. Everything in this house, it's on you. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm inadequate. Mm. So is that, is that where we get to where we are so empowered, we want to take over? Is no. that where we are no, right no. now? Because we feel that we, we, we have enough um, capacity to do so much no. that we, I, don't rest, we don't give men the opportunity to do no. what they should do. I think um, when it comes to marriage, it's different than when you have a life as a single person or you, 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 you're an established person, you have a life as a single person. When it comes to marriage, a woman wants to be loved. A woman wants to be respected. Yeah, Even if I'm making- answer the question Mariah asked. If, when you swing a steel pendulum, it takes a bit of time. It goes to the extreme first. We're trying to get our men to be more romantic. We're asking for them to do things for us that are very un-African. So they're swinging first in the opposite direction. And we women are also swinging in the opposite direction of thinking that to be empowered is to do everything at home. You have to be empowered enough to allow your husband take his responsibilities okay. at home. Let's going to break. We actually noticed Muffy Jember and Sean on Wake Up Nigeria. So we stole them to come and have this conversation with us. Let's see what their thoughts are. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view. We'll be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So join us on the show. It's Max FM's own personalities, Murphy Jemba and Sean Amari in the building. <laughs> so we saw you guys earlier on Wake Up Nigeria. You know, we're talking all football. Yeah, but the World we Cup, want basically. to hear your thoughts on this issue. And you heard about the Chimamanda story, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. What happened? Um, in your view, do you? I mean, are you? What are your thoughts concerning the, that the Chimamanda's perspective, and women's views generally concerning being? Pampered. What are your thoughts? Let me start with Murphy. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, you know, she was trying to be, you know, preach equality. Yeah. And uh, for me, you know, she got it right. Yes. yes. But uh, there's this African angle to everything. You know, she, she you know, stays abroad. Uh, African women here, you know, ladies here don't have the kind of, you know, uh, uh, exposure she has there. And most times, it's been a long time I've even seen a Nigerian man open the door for, for a woman. <laughs> no, they open for me. Okay, okay. Like so, to open doors yeah. for us. That's yeah. what, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But I'm, I'm just saying, you know, the uh, majority of Nigerian men, you know, yeah. they're not that romantic or yeah, that, you know, to that level. We would like you to be, yeah. we would like you to be more We know. Yeah. yeah. Well, for me, I, um, I, I do not share that opinion. Okay. Because, um, <laughs> You know, I, the first thing is um, Chimamanda, uh, her ideology, uh, her idea when it comes to women mm. and, and and how you deal with them, it's a global concern. It's, it's It has nothing to do with where she is at the moment. It has a lot to do with the female gender. They are the weaker gender. Yeah. And um, from my perspective, uh, it's just gentlemanly to... Um, Get the door for your lady. So do you open doors for your, for your own yeah, Yes, I do. Abs absolutely. Murphy, I do. do you open doors? I'm not married yet, but I, I do. I do, but not all the time. For example, I used to stay in an apartment where we had almost about 18 ladies. Eh? I was the only guy there. Fuck up. And, and Murphy, where? Where was uh, that? This, I better pass my, gener my neighbor generator. <laughs> 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 the official <laughs> guest starter. <laughs> 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 
I, I, I can't believe you just did that. I don't know if you understand, you know, basically there are things a woman should do and shouldn't do, basically. You know, I grew up in a home where every, you know, every person had their own distinct responsibility. My dad, my mom, you know. Sir, I yeah. have a problem with that. Yeah. Okay. Why shouldn't women do certain things and men can do certain things? Yeah. We raise our children, yeah. okay, to, the boys do not go to the kitchen. Uh, the girls are meant to cook. The boys go play football. So we raise them differently. Stereotype. Exactly. And now we expect them to be romantic when they are used to me sitting back and, and relaxing uh, and being uh, served. Uh, uh, I'll tell you. Sean, no, no, no. I, I totally disagree with her because basically, uh, I've, I've, I've witnessed, I've seen, you know, elderly couples, you know, they, they grew up with the same mentality, you know, yeah. you are going against. Yeah, yeah. Sean, the love there is, is fantastic. Mm. Every person has okay, their role. It but, still doesn't change. No, let me, let me just say this here. For, for, first off, it has to do with how we're raised as kids mm -hmm. and where we're raised and what society we live in. Um, when it comes to Africa, there is a code that goes this way, TIA, they go, this is Africa. Mm. Um, I'm of the opinion that we should change that mentality. We should change that mindset into raising our kids and stereotyping them. That's quoting what she said. Thank you. <laughs> Give us your original voice. <laughs> is that, is that wow. Wow. The thing is, when we define our roles and everybody is in their own lane, Clarity is essential. God bless there you. will be no crisis. Yeah. When the woman knows that this is what I'm doing in the house, mm. the man knows that this is my responsibility within the house, okay. there will be no challenge. What causes the problems we've been seeing now, the, the rise in divorce and all the challenges that they're seeing is because we, we are bec we're becoming very, very fluid but in that, defining totally those roles. I so we now have women too. making so much money, and the woman is cooking, and the man is complaining because the roles have switched. She's uh, now being the breadwinner, and she's still being the bread maker. God what, no. she needs, no. you need what to tell her which are we doing, God? God. What, what if you lose, the, 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 the husband goes? Haven't you seen people get into trouble because they waited, they relaxed, the yeah. man was doing, and, and just, and just, the man was doing everything. I think we should, if you have the strength to do stuff, do it. Irrespective of danger, so uh, uh, yes. I'm going to teach my kids, said, I'm going to teach my boys to cook. Yeah. I'm going to teach my girls to turn on the generator. Talking about, talk, talk about cooking. Well, in marriage, the roles should be defined. This is where, no. what I do. No. You cannot ask me to be a set manager carrying table. I mean, carrying. Uh, it's not possible. That's no. not, I, what would it's I do for that kind of no, job? No, there are women who are set managers. Come in here for a second. Okay. For me, based on what she was talking about, cooking and having responsibilities at home, growing up, I used to watch my dad cook. I cook. Baga. So for me, it, it, I wasn't told as a child, listen, your sister has to do the cooking mm. or your mom has to do it. I get into the kitchen. And cook. You, you and can I imagine cook. what Sean is saying right now. In my own home, you know, it's an abomination for a man to even have No, Muffy, like, it's not an no. abomination. Hold on. No, no, Muffy, no. My, my, your mother-in-law no. your, your mother no. will come to your house Muffy. and you not, they will not see you inside the Muffy. kitchen. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, like listen, listen, let me just nip my ah, point, come on, Muffy. Sean, man. It's not abomination. No ah. one's going to hell. You yes. will not be sacrificed. Sean, they, they'll say you don't, you don't chop something. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You don't chop something. No, I, I, I would cook for my wife. Yeah. I, I would cook for my kids. I'll do it. Obviously, a modern man. Even the way you talk to me, you're a modern man. Are you a... I mean, Ni Nigerian. Now, now, so, Murphy, Nigerian behind you there, but Murphy, I wanted to say something yeah. to you. When you said earlier that those who had lived, those, them, they, they, our older parents, our yeah, parents, yeah. they had they lived fantastic lives. Yeah. But do you know that many of them actually faked it? Yes. Bagang. You know, they are... They, they, <laughs> many of them. Many of them. <laughs> yes. They, they endured. Yes. What you've seen in their 60s, it's 70s. Facade. Because They've just, they are just used to that. What, let, let me, they have no way of going. Let me, they sorry, have no choice. Right so, 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 what, sorry, no, sorry. The narrative, right the narrative we're trying to change, There's Murphy. The narrative we're trying to change is that okay. we want couples to enjoy it from the beginning all the from way to the end. From scratch all the end. Stop yeah. faking it. And let, let me just buttress your, for, your point for that. First is, a lady gets bit up by her husband and that happens and she leaves the house and goes to her parents and she says, oh, my husband hit me. No, go back there. Mm. That's your husband. I hear that all the time. That's yes. incredibly wrong. The point is, I think we need to change our mindsets. Sean, Sean, women are going to love no. Sean, really. Ask, see, Sean. The reason okay. where no, we need confused, to change it. I know, is the traditional African home God bless you. Is different from the traditional British or American. Home. No, no, no. I, I do not agree. Globalization, education, and civilization were mixed. We're now yeah. a global yeah. village. Yes. In the African home, 
yeah. before westernization and education came. The man, because he's physically stronger, mm -hmm. no went out. Yeah. The woman, she's <coughs> pregnant, stays home oh, and took care of the home. Now with education and development in technology, men and women are able to play similar roles. Absolutely. Does not mean that a woman can put on a heavy gen or carry it. You can, if it's Let a gen a with a switch. Okay. Anybody, a child even, can switch it on. But if it is heavy and it is heavier than the lady, she cannot do it. So we're getting confused Thank you. because Thank of you. education. Well, you but let me that, look, that, that's what brought about you know, this big mama era. Okay. 20 years ago, there's not like big mama. You carry the leco mouse. Are you serious? It's forbidden. It's forbidden. It's because of all this. Uh, you can play this role. You can do no, this. You no. can take care of your. No. So, so, everywhere you turn around, there's big mama everywhere. Do this you is know part that of the problem. in the animal kingdom, the female animals are stronger. The, the, the lioness Go hunts. hunting. So I and think the lion we have, sits we back. have so defined. So, no, no, hold on. We have, defined, we have protect. defined I mean, women. The, the man. The human yeah. Yeah. The man. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll take this call. Hang in there. Let's take this call from Taiwo. Taiwo, are you there? Yes, I'm there. Good Thanks afternoon. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay, um, I have something to say. Yes. I think that in a marriage, no role is defined. Ah. Thank like you. You said a particular time that that in a, you said it one time, Moriah, on the show that you said that from any part of the marriage can money come from. Mm. In a marriage, no, 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 no um, role should be defined. No role at all should be defined. And uh, to me, I feel feminism is not a feminism is not about is marriage. Not about, oh. Feminism is not about feminism is not about uh, feminism is not about giving. Oh God! Feminism is not about. She's trying to put it together. It's not coming. Okay, Sorry. let me get you. Talk where? See, you cannot have a pilot that does not have his role defined. You are only a co-pilot and a pilot. Hey, well. When you don't define the role, that plane is going crash. to crash. Like that alone. Same thing happens in marriage. <clears throat> I'm not saying last Saturday I was extremely ill. My husband, who I know was a good cook, who hasn't cooked in a long time because he has a wife to do the job, knew that I couldn't do the job. And the next thing, a full meal on the table. Mm. What I'm saying is, he when uses we define, discretion. Yes. When we define the husband. roles we're meant to do, mm. when we see the other person is unable to fulfill it, we step in to help. God bless if you. If my husband has issues financially, I will step in to can help. I, I don't know if he sees I cannot cook. Uh, uh, he sorry, will can step I, in to help. I, I don't have to don't know what the can rules I, can are. Can I say this, please? I don't then have to wait there's for it. I'll, I'll, yeah. 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 I'll tell you what, yeah. First off, you said you were ill, yeah? I wouldn't wait for you to get ill before I make your meal. Thank you, Sean. Listen, let me, let me just break this yes. down. The reason that's I'm saying... So you disagree, Murphy? No, no that's okay. okay. <laughs> let me, let me, let me no. get him. Ah. Hang in there, let me hear Murphy's views. Ah. In the home, uh -huh. you have a wife. Mm. Yes. Then why are you married now, guys? I Murphy, don't understand. Let me tell you why I'm married. Shall I tell you why I'm married? Shall I tell you why I'm married, Murphy? Can I tell you? Would you give me a minute, please? Would you give me a minute? I understand that one role here. You know, she's trying to ask him to see how we can, you know, bridge the gap. Let both the man and the woman, you know, help each other out. But I'm talking about, yes, having a distinct role in the house. Murphy, can if I... I'm the man of the family, Shana Madi, I have certain things I must do in that house. Can I, Whether can... the woman does it or not. Can I say I know this? of me and Shana Madi, I have a friend, Shana Madi, that, that goes to work. Do I also goes to work? Has a very, very good job. But every month, wow. and every month end, the man still still gives the woman something. Even though, even though, even though the lady is working, no. Yeah. But he still gives her something. Okay, right. that's good. That's it. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm telling you. That is good. Let's go on a break. Let's go on a break. When we come back, wow. we'll continue this conversation. Taking Stay with us Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. We have lots and lots of tweets. Do you want to start? Ayadeji says, I'm finding it difficult why you guys are mixing cultures here. We have our culture as Africans and the culture of the abroad. Hmm. <laughs> Abiyajulu says the female animal is stronger. That's God's doing, and it is different to humans. <laughs> Don't mix it, yo. Thank you. Abbe John She's hand-picking the tweets, Civilization, yeah. yes, civilization yes. negatives are part of today's Africa marital challenges. Life is more than many things we put emphasis on. PJ Comedian says, Murphy, I beg me they cook for my wife food and not be abomination. <laughs> it depends on your background, what you were taught growing up. Samuel Odelano says, 
tell your guests with the sunshades to remove them. <laughs> Timothy says, if roles are defined, what will happen if my wife is sick and I okay. can't cook? Osato and Asenunga okay. says, all this talk about feminism is bull. Ask a woman to pee in a Coca-Cola bottle hey, and what? ask a man to do the same. <laughs> what happened is the answer you are looking for. It can never be equal. That's all right. <laughs> let's come to you on the issue of feminism. Let's, yeah. let, let's try to round up on that. Okay. What are your thoughts concerning feminism? I think it's cool. I think... Uh, uh, the same God that created the man, created the woman. That's it, they should, so have, they, they should have the same rights as well. Okay. Mm. But I think, you know, we should draw a line. In marriage? Yeah. Tell us about that line. Because yeah. like, that's where, that's the confused, that's the line everybody's confused about. Yeah. Yes. Where exactly do we draw the line? Uh, what, what's feminism and what's appropriate? Okay, for example, you know, uh, we said something, you know, while we're on break, that uh, in the home, mm. when you see a cockroach or a rat, ah. who goes after it? Ah, the man knew. <laughs> Look, 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 look. My husband must have one talent only. <laughs> kill cockroach, because my sick cockroach are leaving the house. <laughs> if you cannot kill cockroach, if it's somebody who will carry you, I'll be running after cockroach. I, I, I can go after yeah. cannot kill cockroach. Ah, wow. Wow. I could not be married to him. Yeah. Yeah. You see? Now. You see? So Let, me take this call. Let me take this call for my sick Good morning, are you there? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Yeah, my name is Julia from Ajegile. Hi, Vivian. Go ahead. I would like to say there should be orderliness Aha. in everything we do. In this life, things have evolved, and we know presently there's kind of people have evolved into certain things. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you want your marriage, your home to be in place, please put in that orderliness first. Okay. Thank you my very much. I got food for my mom. That's yeah. it. So, Thank listen, I grew up it's with relative. my father right. making breakfast because okay. my mom was a career woman also who had to leave the house as oh, early is. as he would leave. He would make breakfast for us, take me to school. My mother has gone on her way. Okay. But when he comes home to dinner, dinner is served. Yes. So there was orderliness. See, I'd like to agree with Sean that a man shouldn't be marrying a woman just because I want somebody to, to cook, cook for me or have children. Mm. But it is for each individual to know what is priority for them. Obiajulu loves to cook. She would have married the wrong husband if her husband loves to cook and they are now fighting in the kitchen. So there is <laughs> that, <laughs> that, 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 that kind of manifestation. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> yeah, I, I get the point. So <laughs> what is most important to each person is mm. not to my man that will define it for me. Yes. yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Okay. Let me come to Sean. Sean, do you feel feminism or fem feminists are confused? Especially, especially in African context, are we conf are we confused? Well, I tell you, what, um, I'll be quite frank. There is a thin line between being confused and being sure of the the objective or the topic. Um, I think we should encourage, you know, the ideology of fighting for the girl child okay. and her reaching her full potential as a lady in society at large. Uh, but sometimes we tend to push it just a little bit. Mm. And when you push it and you go beyond that line, it just becomes a confusion. So, do you open doors? Yes, I do. For I've always. For everyone I've always, or I've, just women? Um, for me, it's, it's not a function. Would you the devil Murphy? No, this guy. Well, <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't do it for me. Jeez. And I, no, she's a couple of people just did that. Um, but action, I, I would, the, would, day, would, the day woman pays his bride price, then I'll, I'll know they're yes. No, Murphy, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Murphy, Murphy, no, no, hold on. You, you can, you can high-five him for a week. <laughs> eh? you, can, you can do that for a week, but let me say this. Do you know in India, the ladies yeah. pay the bride yes, price? Yes, yeah. you know that. Now, now, we're in a global, it's a global village. Yes. Now, sometimes, you know, we've got Indians in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. They live and walk here. Mm. And if you're saying this, they the might. Mm. Yeah, no, no, I'm not. Yeah, so they'll give you a bread price. No, I'm not. So that listen. feminism will become. No, Muffy, hold on. <laughs> we, were, we were, as a country, as a people, yeah. we keep forgetting that the English showed up on our shores and we got colonized by the English. And, we need to understand that. We need to look at the world from a global perspective and not say, oh, we're traditional Nigerians or yeah. we're Africans. If we're Africans, we shouldn't be using cell phones. Thank we you. shouldn't be using the internet. No, 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 no. I, I, I wanted I, I, to hinge on that to say yeah, so. that. The, the problem for me is the fact that that thin line is usually difficult because now a man says, because I am a man in a workplace, the woman should be under me. That's what feminists are fighting. Yes. Absolutely. But in marriage, it's different. That's I why agree. I take yeah. away marriage yeah. from the Feminism. whole thing. Yeah. Yes. You are a guy, I am a guy, we are equal. I should Big have time. the same opportunities that Big you time. have. Big so if you can if, if, separate if I, marriage yeah. from it. Let me, let, let me give you an example. Uh, the, 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 the Danish national team, you know, both the male and the female, get paid 
equal amounts of money. Yes, that now. Should be. Awesome. That's look feminism. At, look at Nigeria. The Super Eagles have a brand new jersey sold out in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And the Super Falcons, you know, play the qualifier for the Nation's Cup. And they wore a 10 years old jersey to play that match. Okay. Okay, that's, that, that's, no, 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 that's, that's, yeah, that's in that that's equality. No, I agree. Can I say but this? when it comes to, to marriage, that's, different. That's, that's, yeah. that's, that's, you call outside, you call no, no, yes. let, let, let me just say this. That's a function of someone failing to do his job. Mm. When you go back to the Nigerian Football Federation, the NFF, mm. someone is not doing his job as regards laying oh, the yeah, ladies. Yep, and that's yeah, one. But, but, yeah, but, but let me come back to the topic. Okay. If I'm in love with a lady and I, and I ask her to marry me and she goes, yes, it's, uh, you know, for me, I'm in love with her and we're both in love and we're trying to build something. She doesn't automatically become my help. Mm. Or my cook. Or oh. my, uh, listen, help. Let, me, let, me, let me just. You're getting let, let me do wrong, this. Would you, you know there's there's the a role that the lady plays soon, as guys. well. That's the mentality. Very soon. Yeah. You have a lot of fans on radio. People listen to you guys. <laughs> I'd like to know what you guys are concerning relation. How come you're still single? What's the deal with that? <laughs> with all this, you're cooking for your oh, woman. Yeah. Why? What's the deal? Well, uh, she's been divorced like three, four times. No, that's no, that's a lie. No, that's a lie. Come on. He's just joking. He's just joking. How many times have you divorced? Muffy got his landlord's daughter pregnant. So <laughs> and, uh, he's got, okay, he's got, no, no, but that's a joke, by the <laughs> way. Uh, yeah, but I While you're thinking about the answer, let me take it. Ayodeji says, let's use the scriptures. As the only books given equal rights, God has a reason creating the man first and the woman later from his ribs. It's because of the nasty men we see around these days taking advantage of women. Benjamin says, as a boy growing up, my mom would say there are no men or women chose in her house. Mm. Then it was time to cook and clean. But when it was time to strenuously make ridges in the farm, she would say, go, men of the house. <laughs> <laughs> Raymond Dave says woman. the Bible recorded that a man shall cleave from his parents and mm -hmm. get married, and both the woman and the uh, man shall become one. Um, Ekewa says, I think we have all confused a feminist with the misandrist. Mm -hmm. Chimamanda has sort of clumsy things up. How does a woman changing her car tires look to all of you when the husband is standing there because she's a feminist? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okushaga says, mm. women are helpmates, and I feel we as men should compliment them as well by assisting when necessary. A help means does not mean a slave. Okay. Mm. We have to round up. So <clears throat> tell us about what you guys are doing, your, your radio show time, better how we can... Well, basically, it's uh, the max, uh, the max yeah. hits, yeah, we're yeah. there at uh, 8 p.m. to 10. 10 p.m. 8 p.m. tonight. Yeah, you guys will be reviewing the match. Absolutely. Is there any match today? Yes, yeah, there yeah. is. Uh, Russia, Russia takes Saudi on Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Oh, yeah, great, and that's at 4 p.m. local time, but the opening ceremony kicks off at 2 p.m. So local time. So are you dating time. anyone? Uh, like six. Not at the one moment. Has, no, one Murphy. Uh -huh. I said, one lucky face one. I don't want to. You and yeah. Mo. This is, this is just... Who are you dating? Uh. I've just seen it. Because I heard you're just to... Show my age, you mean. That's so rough for the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see you tomorrow. Have a fabulous day. See you. Bye-bye.